that's their story. Witches and ghost Halloween nights can be spooky and a cause of fright, but not as revealing and unsteady as when your little one arrives before they are ready. It's a poem. Yep. Okay, I'll it's read from it. The Henrys. Thank you, the Henrys. We're gonna do an unboxing. They already have families and they're cute and they're all healthy and stuff. So we got some big hand sanitizer. Scented, original scented hand sanitizer. I'll put it on the back. We got some orange Gatorade. Orange Gatorade, your favorite. <laughs> no, I like the red. Yeah, right Don't put it there, it's gonna fall. Right. Ooh, they have this nice chocolate. Got some Clorox wipes that you needed earlier. When? To wipe your phones off. Yeah. That's good. You got some Kleenex, which I needed earlier. To get those boogers out. Get those boogers out. <laughs> Big old boogers. We got some premium hot cocoa. Oh, see, yeah, that's nice. Very <laughs> Caradelli chocolate. Fancy, you premium, premium lady. Oh, you like those pirate booties? You like these, but smart food is best. We got some mother's frosted cookies from Ernie's, the little bats. Oh, those like the circus cookies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we got rice cookies. Oh wow! With that bat, with, I guess. Scary eyes. Yeah, scary eyes on it. Food on the ground. Two rice cooking trees. Oh. Yeah. We got a Kit Kat. Kit Kat. We got a Twizzler. Oh, I want that now. And banana laffy taffy. You like banana laffy taffies? Uh, I don't know. I see. And she also got this hat. And she's wearing the onesie. Now let me get her right because she's kind of lean. Thank you for the gift. Hey y'all, so I'm just gonna give an update, I guess, on how things have been going, mainly with the baby. So she hit four pounds a couple days ago, which I showed, I think I said, so she's four pounds now. She's been doing good growing. She's still working on her oxygen and her feeding, but hopefully we can go home soon. She's at 36 weeks right now. So she's doing good, but there've been like, one of the babies that had the same nurse as her was got sick, got RSV. I think it's RSV or RSD. So they had to like test her for that. So there have been a couple scares. Also, she had a nurse that had salmonella, so they had to test her for that negative so there have been like little things that have happened that are kind of nerve-wracking um but yeah other than that she's doing good uh, what else is there anything else for me to talk about with her because her weight is up it's halloween today so she had like they had like little costumes for them so we like put her in like a little costume and like got a little pumpkin hat i showed like a family gifted like little buckets full of things and she got like a little shirt and or like a little onesie and she also got a pumpkin hat oh and we just came from uh, lots upon a child and i bought her this little betsy johnson one uh, onesie which is so cute i thought it was really cute so only a dollar yeah. trying this drink apparently it's from Saudi Arabia but I'm about to try it I have nowhere to put this it's like cherry 
That's what it looks like, but... What do you think it tastes like? Can you smell it? Oh, Fanta? Yes! Just like a Fanta. Fanta. Mm-hmm. Wanna try? He's not gonna try because... This is my truck! <laughs> yeah, and make sure you tell them that down at the end. Your turn. I don't know why they call it heartbreak. Because right now you feel. Alright, here we go. It's like everything is broken into. Taylor about the fucking flex. Oh, oh. Why should I be the one to say sorry hey, when there is far too many women that are quite like you? Hey, and she said, hold up, you need to grow up. I said, you know what, bitch, I'm about to blow her here. Hey, I'm about to blow up. Maybe we should roll up. Maybe you should pull her here. We don't have to call it heartbreak. We We're at the Mavericks in Scottsdale and we got two drinks. Our total was $24 for two drinks. But it's good, the drink is good. Don't have to call it love. I just pray that we find something good for the both of us And you know you can always call me You know I always Hey y'all So I've been noticing in my vlogs that They're not kind of random and like not cohesive So I'm gonna try to do like more Vlog more like a daily style like the beginning of the day Talk about what I have planned show my outfit stuff like that so it just like starts flowing better and it's not just a bunch of clips because i don't know it's just i feel like i need to step it up but it is friday november 3rd i believe and the plan for today is just to go see the baby of course and to uber that's all we basically do every day um it's just like uber see the baby eat live life but for today I'm in my closet but for today i'm planning on wearing like i'm gonna show you the outfit laid on the bed but like just these long levi baggy very baggy and i'm either gonna wear this top that i like reworked but it has like elastic in it and i want to take that elastic band out because i just don't like how tight it fits around my stomach and or either just this plain black top but yeah and i want to wear my uggs even though here it gets like it's cold in the morning but like really hot during the day like 80s i really want to wear my uggs because i'm used to seasons and i like seasons so yeah and i'm probably gonna wear a hat because my hair is just doing its own thing and i've been wearing these twists in for it'll be a month on the 13th i believe so i'm trying to put them in a month take it out you know keep a protective style in so the hair is growing <laughs> or else i'm gonna cut it because i'm really wanting to cut so this is my options um either this black shirt these jeans which i probably will steam maybe not and then this shirt which i'm gonna take the elastic out and see if i like it better because it's long sleeve so <laughs> So I just left Denny's to get us breakfast while my boyfriend is doing something work related. But I went in there and got us some breakfast and I got my favorite smoothie. Like it's pretty good. It's the green smoothie. Minute made. I'm pretty sure it's just like a pre-mix. But it's so good. Headed back to get him and then to the hospital. Hey y'all, I'm here 
here to give an update. I'm at the hospital with the baby, which is why I'm whispering. But it's November 7th and she got her vaccines two days ago. And that went well. She didn't have any like bad side effects besides one fever. So and it only lasted one of her cares, so that's good. Um, what else? She is now four pounds, eight ounces, so she's getting up there. What else? She's been a little bit more like agitated, but I feel like it was because she got her vaccines and she was just a little bit more like sensitive. We've been working on her feeding. Um, she's getting better. They said she's her breathing's doing good. So, she's doing good. I've been staying at the hospital more, so that's good. And, yeah, that's my update. I feel weird talking here because it's quiet, but the door is closed. But, yeah, that's my update for now. I feel like I have more to say, but... Oh, she also got thrush on her tongue. So, they have to, like, give her antibiotics for it. And, like, after every bottle she has to get it sanitized so and as far as my breast milk it's still uh, not a lot but I'm still trying and I'm gonna get better I need to but that's my update for now does anyone else feel like Martin likes Pam. Or is it just me? Currently pumping and this is all I'm getting. Update on baby. She's doing good. They're trying to give her formula because she kind of spits up when she eats. So I don't like that. Uh. Uber. Please pick up. I just pray that we find something good for the boat. Yeah, that's what she said. Hey, I gotta get this bitch uh, up out my head. Hey, ain't no one looking back. Now that shit dead. Hey. No need to pay the victim, not instead I Just run me up some money, get these bread My heart no longer here, now that shit fled I put all the pain on me, I can't be giving game Hey, so I'm in the hospital um, With the baby, baby girl And so they moved her to a new room So we're in yet another room Um you can hear her in the back. She's very grunty now, so she's either like pooping. That's like the noise she makes a lot. They think she has reflux, which is like a whole thing. I'll probably go into all this stuff separately because I have to whisper because she's very sensitive to me. My voice, I feel, as you can see, she's in the bed. She just um, had her care. She ate, she took 34. And they've been giving her 42 mLs, so she did good. I'm trying to pump. I did not get a lot of milk. Um, I'm still trying. Um, I tried the coconut water. I feel like I like it, but it might just be a mental thing. What else? She has thrush, which she's had for a while. So they upped her to like a different medicine, which has her mouth very blue, which I'll show you guys. But she's been having a hard time eating, but she's finally like, I feel like getting over that hump. They've been giving her cold milk, which is like, eh, but apparently she likes it. I think her tongue's irritated. 
but yeah just like little things i'm probably gonna do another update but i'm trying to get more content because i haven't been doing it so and i really want to be consistent and do good but yeah i'm in the NICU right now in her room and i've been spend spending the night for like a week and like seven days in a row now i've been here for a long time like spending the night every night so she's making progress eating is the biggest one but yeah she's doing good she's in a new room and yeah i'm gonna show you guys her lips they're blue from the medicine they gave her today but hopefully that'll help with the thrush so yeah I need somebody love me for me. I need a damn nigga ain't perfect, but goddamn the bitch don't work it. She said, hey, yeah, I don't know why you call it heartbreak. Because right now it feels like everything is broken to me. Oh, oh, oh. Then I say, hey, bitch, why should I?